Hi, I'm Benjamin. It's a pleasure and honor to get on here, and I pray this strengthens you and encourages you, and uh, most of all, you know, as I'm walking with him, and I realize that, you know, all things are possible with him, and the enemy wants to come to steal that, so, but anyway, hold on for a minute. But anyway, I wanted to get rid of some of that light. Um, I normally pour it down before I start, but hey, it's all good. It's a beautiful day, so I'm enjoying the sun. A bit chilly, but hey, it's sun shining and it's so beautiful. But anyway, you know, it's so amazing as we draw closer to him. And uh, the enemy loves driving wedges. You know, that's 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 what he specializes in. And today I am talking about God's love, you know the love right so powerful right so much love that jesus right had for us and uh does it test us does it stretch us absolutely in this world that the enemy runs and looking for ways to put wedges in between you your family your loved ones your your spouse um, whatever way he can come and drive that wedge. That's what he's about. But today's so powerful, the message. And I pray that the love of Christ, right? His spirit rushes in and opens our eyes and ears in a world that it's not always easy, you know, because Jesus, you know, he gave himself up so we can live through him. So powerful, right? Nothing we deserve it you know, did to deserve it. It's just his grace and love that he came truly to die on that cross, to carry them burdens of sin. Um, as I read yesterday, right, in John, so um, that, you know, that he came to to destroy the works of the devil, right, as long as we accept him as our Lord and Savior. But anyway, today I'm in First John 4, and I'm going to be reading a few verses, uh, 7 through uh, maybe 12, you know, we'll see. Um, but, you know, I, I, I just felt really strong, like, you know, to pick up and show how much love that Jesus had, you know, so phenomenal. But anyway, let's get started. Um, before we do, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Gracious Father, I am so blessed to get on here, so blessed to feed your sons and daughters. Use this vessel, Jesus. Use it, because I cannot do it. I cannot. Let your spirit let your spirit do the talking. Yes, Jesus, you come and you feed your sons and daughters with this vessel that I surrender to you. Let your spirit feed them. Let them, maybe you open their eyes and ears to take this in because we all deal with challenges and the enemy wants us to focus on them challenges and let him drive wedges between us, our family members and friends and even the people that we don't know. But that's why you came, Jesus, so powerful. But anyway, give me the strength and uh, help me share this message to bring you glory for your kingdom, for the who I am and the man that I'm becoming. Because you get all the praise and glory for who I am. And I bow down to you in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. But anyway, so powerful today. OK, we're going to start in seven. So it's first John four, seven. Dear friend, let us love one another for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Amen. You know, as you accept Christ and you dig closer to him, he shows you how to truly love, right? You know, and I can say this because I wasn't always saved. You know, when you're not saved, you just think about worldly things and how to get what you want, what pleases your flesh, right? What, what you think is the accurate way of living. But as the true creator made this world and as he enlightens us, as we accept him as our Lord and Savior, and he shows us, and it's not always comfortable, I can tell you that, right? When he shows you your faults, but as he shows you and shares and um, and lets us know, right, that we're not perfect. That's why he came. He's such perfect, right? So perfect. And that's why he did it. He laid it down. But the next verse eight Whoever does not love does not know God because God is love, right? 
So if you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you don't believe in God, well, then that means the enemy, right? He comes and he is so opposite of God. So he's all about get even, hate, violence, you know, uh, cursing at someone if they cut you off in traffic, you know, just just opposite. And uh, it's so easy to uh, in this world, right? so easy even if we believe right to get pulled to get sucked in to the enemy's trap right so easy it is even if you're a believer we're not perfect only jesus was and he knew that that's why he did what he did to get, let us live in him you know but anyway let's go to the next verse verse nine this is how god showed his love among us he sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. Oh, so powerful. I just love that, right? I'm, I'm going to say that one again. This is how God showed his long, oh, his love. <laughs> hey, it's all good, right? I read it good the first time. Let's do it again. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him ah you know with the last verse up there right the enemy those who don't know christ don't know god don't know love you know that person you know that maybe doesn't accept jesus christ as their lord and savior you know when we go out and about and doing our day right that guy that maybe will get mad or that late you know what i mean anger hate you know they they, they can't understand, right? The enemy's blind in them and they don't understand Jesus. So sometimes what we portray, right, from them and the enemy works. He has his people and, you know, that's what Jesus understood. You know, he understood that, that the person that was talking, right, if it wasn't love and in, for people's purpose and what, what God wants them to live and how they look at, how Jesus looks at us, he knows who that is, what spirit that is. Like when Judas, right, betrayed Jesus, right? Satan came and entered him, right? That is a evil spirit. Jesus is a loving spirit. So powerful, right? Opposite, right? And that's the kind of spirit I want. I want to be more like Jesus. And I pray this helps you and opens your eyes that even family members, friends, right, can say things to hurt us. Yes, and I know that, and I've seen it in my own life, and Jesus has lived it too when when, uh, when he was betrayed, right? When uh, Lazarus died, right? It was someone that he truly loved. He wept. He knows what it's like to deal with what we deal with, but he chose, right, to show his love, to come here and die on that cross so we can live through him. So when we are struggling in life, when a family member or a friend or someone that you don't even know does something to hurt your feelings, we need to understand, right? That person is truly the enemy in them that makes him do them things. You know, that's why Jesus, you know, on the cross, forgive them, Father, for they do not know what they do, right? Because the enemy's here to drive wedges put wedges between you, your family, your friends at times, even your spouse, right? And I know that because I walked away from God and uh, it drove me to get a divorce because I walked away from God and I got very selfish. But I found Jesus in that moment and he showed me how to love her. He showed me how to love her even in our circumstances so powerful right when his spirit when i seeked him with all my heart and he sent me his spirit it was just a totally different mindset it was it was like you know love love even our cir circumstances right that we go through you know when that person does violent stuff to you or anger or hates you or curses at you remember jesus still loves them because he made them it's not easy i'm not saying it's an easy thing to have somebody or a friend or a family member or someone to say something to you to cut you 
and the enemy wants us to lash back. It's not easy. I'm not saying it is. That's the Holy Spirit is what we need. That's what he did to me. He sent me his Holy Spirit like never seen before. And he showed me how to love even in bad situation that I was in. Because my ex is still his daughter, right? He still loves her. Yes, as he loves me. You know, it's so powerful. Something that you can't grasp. And, uh, but it's so powerful of a testimony, you know, it's on my porch and I'm like, what do I do? You know, and I never forget, you know, my son got upset and I went out there and I'm sitting there praying and he's like, love her. And I'm like, love her. Yeah. Love her. And I was sitting there and I'm like, well, I'm going to try, I'm going to try, you know, for 45 seconds to a minute, I'm trying to explain to him, like, oh, this is hard, but I'm going to try, Lord. I'm going to try. And the most beautiful thing he said to me, you know, after that 45 seconds, a minute, I'm trying to relay that I'm going to try because I love you. Oh, that shuts everything up. Because my situation, right, that I was in, he loves me. But guess what? He also loved her. The trauma and the stuff we deal with down here is all because the enemy, what he does. Okay? So it's not easy. That's why we need his spirit, Jesus' spirit, to be able to do these things. To realize when someone cuts you deep, right? That words, that cuts. It's not of Jesus. Okay? It's not easy. But I can tell you. Jesus' love, true love. That's why he did what he did, so we can live through him. So powerful, so powerful. But the next verse 10, this love, not that we love God, but that he loved us, sent his son as an atonement sacrifice for our sins. Oh, so powerful, so powerful. Dear friend, next verse, dear friend, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. You know, even in situations, like I said, you know, when it's not easy. When Jesus said, you know, someone asks you to walk a mile, you walk two, you know, someone smacks you on the cheek off from the other one. Wow. Yeah. When someone yells at you or curses at you, it says mean things to you. You know, I love you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Someone yelling and cursing at you and you just, I love you. Thank you. Could you imagine our face are like, this dude is crazy or this woman's crazy? No, it's because that's what Jesus would do. Because he would know what spirit was in them. That it wasn't him, but his light must shine, right? So through my divorce, you know, with his spirit that he sent like never seen before, I was able to love her and show her his love. And we still celebrated everything, her birthday, the anniversary, right? Still our son's birthday. We did everything. And, you know, she would look at me and say, I don't understand why you're doing this. Because uh, he said, love you. I was to love you. So that's what I'm going to do. And his spirit is the one that gave me the strength. Like the one that gives me the strength to come on this video. Nothing I do. It's not me. It's Jesus's spirit. That's what it's about. When you have that. And he brings you. He lifts you up to a whole new standard. A whole new level. For he gets to praise for who I am today. And I pray that this message is helping in you and strengthening you and letting us realize the enemy wants to work and drive wedges between us and our family members. And we need to understand that, you know, that's what he's here to do, to disrupt, to corrupt. But Jesus says, I'm love. Whatever he disrupts and corrupts when you give me a chance, I can show you. To do mind-blowing things. Because that's who I am. That's why I carried that cross. And that's why I, I love you so much. That you might live through 
me, as we just read a couple verses up. You know, that is so powerful. And I pray this helps you and opens some light. You know, maybe next time when someone does something that hurts you, that you'll step back and realize that's not the spirit of Jesus and God. And, you know, maybe that's another reason why Jesus said on the cross, forgive them for they do not know what they do. For the enemy wants to blind them and make them think they're on track. But the whole time, the person that did something to hurt you, they were off track by the enemy. You know, so powerful. And it's not easy. I'm not here to say it is because what I was, what I went through was, was hard, but with his spirit that he sent me, that's what gave me the strength to do what I did. It wasn't Benjamin, had nothing to do with me. It was all Jesus and his spirit and the love that he had as for me but also a man than my ex. But because of his spirit and he loves both of us, he taught me how to love her in our circumstances. And he also showed me how to love her still today because the enemy comes and he pushes in. And what he does, he has him people do things and say things. And he does like this, separate you. And then he has either you or them say thing to hurt. And I'm here to tell you, I, when I walked away from God, I said some mean things. Yes, some mean things because I got selfish. But he showed me how the true Holy Spirit and his love poured into me, overflowed my cup that I may pour out the love that he has for us and shine that light. In this world that the enemy wants us to focus on what he does out here. What these people do to us to hurt us. Family members, friends at times. If we can look past that and realize Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. That's what it's about. It's all about him. We need him here. It's so powerful. And I pray this opens up eyes and maybe lets us realize, you know, if you're married and uh, you have a significant other, right? Love them. And when we're wrong, go to Christ and ask for his guidance. Dig in his word because he loves you and he will teach you. And the enemy wants you to, to do things, to drive a wedge because he loves divorce. Everything God stands for. And I know that because of things he used to tell me. Yeah, before right, our divorce, the things you used to tell me because I walked away from God. You deserve better than that. You deserve this. You deserve that. No, I don't. What I deserve, what Jesus did to carry that cross. I didn't earn it. I didn't earn it. But what I deserve, right? Yeah. Wasn't what Jesus did, but that's what he does. Love and grace. He loves us so much that he carried that cross for every single one of us. That we can live through him. That he can destroy, right? He came. I read that last night, right? Yes. I read that last night. You know, John, 1 John 3, 8, right? Yes, exactly why he did this. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's works. Oh, go so good with this love. That's why Jesus was able to love. Because he knew what spirits was out there and it was the enemy. And that's why he came to destroy it. But the, the way that he did was for us to accept him as our Lord and Savior. And when someone does something bad to you, 
that we really need to truly put our pride down and come to him in his word and seek him and ask for his help. Jesus, I need your help right now. That person said something that hurt me so bad and I'm so angry and I'm upset and I want to get even with them. Show me how to love the way you would. Let me realize it is not that person. It's the enemy that lives within them that causes that. But let me love them because that's what you did when you carried the cross so I can live through you. Oh, glory to God. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. It's the true gift that he did for us. You know, the more I hold on to him and the enemies out here trying to drive wedges between us. And then we focus on what he does to us using other people, family members. That's what he wants. Even your spouse. He wants you to focus on what he has us do against each other. Instead of coming to Christ and realize, Jesus goes, that's why I had to come. To give you a chance to destroy so you can live through me. Amen. You know, and it's not easy in the world when our flesh, right? When someone does something to you and you just want to lash out and get even. Yeah, that's the enemy. Aren't you going to say something? They just said something to hurt you. You need to say something back. You need to curse them out. You need to get even. When Jesus said, no, I got to even. Bring it to me. That's why you have life. I went to the cross so you can live through me. Give me all of your worries, all of your anxiousness, all of your hurting, you know? Yeah, 1 Peter 5, 7, you know? Yeah, that kind of reminds me. How about we go there, you know? Wasn't planning on it, but hey, works for me because it works for him, right? Yeah. So anything we go through, right? No matter what, cast all of your anxiousness onto him because he cares for you. Oh, that's why he loves like no other. That's why he can't went to the cross so we can live through him. It's not easy in the world that the enemy's out here driving wedges between us, trying to separate family members, trying to separate marriages because he's opposite of God. He loves driving wedges between friends, family members, loved ones. It's what he specializes in. Opposite of God. And then he says, oh, did you hear what they said to you? Oh, by the way, you don't say, well, they said that because I encouraged them. But now I'm encouraging you to say something back because that's how I work. I love wedges and I hate God and I hate his sons and daughters because we're created in his image. Yeah, that's how he works. But God and Jesus is like, uh, that's why I went to the cross. So you can live through me. So let's go back to first John. Four. Because so many powerful things in there, right? So many. Again, I'm going to read. Verse 9 again. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world. That we might live through him. Oh, wow. Next verse. 10. This love was not that we love God, but that he loved us. And sent his son an anointing sacrifice for our sins. Wow. That's the whole thing that sums it all up. This flesh can't do that. It's Jesus' spirit that he sends. That enabled me to love my ex through my divorce. And to still celebrate anniversary, birthday party, 
my son, was his spirit. Nothing Benjamin did. The gift I had to get on here. It's his spirit. For he chose me, right? He chooses all of us that accept him as our Lord and Savior. The spirit lives in you. How do you fight the enemy? By digging in his word. By seeking him every day. The Lord's Prayer. Matthew 6, verse 9. Is the Lord's Prayer. Daily bread. Daily bread. What are you being fed? Is it daily bread? Hmm. Daily bread, scripture daily, digging into my word daily, seeking me daily, seeking me with Jeremiah 29, 13, seek me with all your heart. Because when you do that, that's when the enemy don't like it. Because now the spirit in you, his spirit, starts growing more. And more. And you and him start becoming like this. And he teaches you. How to love like never seen before. Because he showed me how to walk a whole lot slower with his spirit. And love his sons and daughters a whole lot deeper in the world. That the enemy. Comes. And he pushes. And he tries to wedge. Everybody. Even co-workers. He don't care. Doesn't bother him at all. Anybody he can use, he will. You know? Judas, right? He, he entered into him. And I forgot which one it was. But I remember I read last week where uh, I think it was Peter, right? Peter tried to grab Jesus. And P Jesus knew immediately. Step back, Satan. Satan don't care. He comes to everyone. But when you put the armor of God on and you seek him daily, he'll show you how to love. He'll show you how to love like never seen before. And that's what he did to my life. He filled me up to overflow. Because when I was going through my divorce, he showed me how to love her because he said, oh, because I love you, I still love her. The enemy came in and drove a wedge between you two. But that doesn't mean that I don't love you or her. Because that's what he does. Thank you very much. You know, it's true gift. And uh, I'm learning, right? As we all are. And your words of encouragement, right? Yeah. So my title, right? As I'm learning, a life coach for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah and amen for the circumstances I've been in. That's how he shows, right? Through my divorce when she was leaving the house to go see another man. He showed me how to love her. That's facts, Jack. And that's why he said on that porch when I went to him. And my son was so upset, so upset. Mom, dad, can't you two just get along anymore? That was the enemy driving a wedge between us. And I allowed it because I walked away from God. But on that porch, when I grabbed my phone for an hour and a half, two hours, I'm praying to him. And he said to me directly. Lover. Lover? Mm. Yeah. Lover. Struggle. But I'm sitting there trying to explain to him for 45 seconds to a minute. I'm going to try, but you're asking something hard. Most beautiful thing he summed it all up. When I'm sitting here trying to explain to him, he said, no, son. I'm going to explain it to you. Because I love you. Oh, because he loved me. He loved Amanda. Because he loved me. He loves her new man. Because he loves me. He carried that cross. 
for every single soul that was lost. Because he loves me, because he loves you, it's not easy to do when the enemy comes out here driving wedges. But that's why we have to grow, right, and seek him daily in his word. And it doesn't matter how. That's a phone. But I got a Bible right here. You need me daily, daily bread. That's how you get fed. And that's how he strengthens you. But because of him, I adore him. And I love his sons and daughters. And anything that he can use me, huh, to disrupt. Everything the enemy corrupts, hallelujah and amen. That's what I'm all about because I love doing these videos for his kingdom. And uh, I will be praying for you, okay? I don't know what you have going on, but I could tell you, he honors you and cherishes you. He adores you. And remember, the pains we go through here, it's all because Revelation's 12. So anyway, check that out, okay? The very last verse in Revelation's 12, 13. The enemy. Anybody. That stands for God and Jesus. Yeah. Even not because we are made in his image, right? Their image. So I will be praying for you. And uh, thank you for the encouragement. I greatly appreciate you. And uh, if you're a subscriber, thank you. Because you're not subscribing to Benjamin's channel. Okay? You're subscribing to Jesus. Because me and him are a team. And I put him first. It's not always easy. It's not. In a life, right? In the world that we want to use this. But remember, he's always doing things behind the scene that the enemy wants to come steal from you. Your hope, your joy, them are lies. And I know that because he comes to me. He's not going to provide for you. He's going to fail you. Mm. Lie. Lie. And I can say that because if you go to... Maybe this is for you if you're still watching, okay? Go to, um, yeah. Yeah, let's go to, oh, several of them. All right, Jesus, which one? How about we do this one first? Matthew 19, 26. Oh, beautiful. Right on track. Jesus looked at them and said, with man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Hallelujah and amen. Glory to God. So I'm here to tell you. Okay, write this one down. Matthew 19, verse 26. Okay, focus on that. Luke 18. 27 just in case you're not getting it <laughs> oh this is good okay jesus replied what is impossible with man is possible with god hallelujah and amen the devil's a liar and that's what he does that's all he can do jesus figured that out all he can do and he's good at what he does because he knows the word. He comes to steal your hope, to make you think there's no way out. And God's behind the scenes, constantly work it. Okay? Hebrews 11, verse 1. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Write this one down too. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Hmm. Tracking now. Listen to this one. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance 
about what we do not see. Amen. Like I said, he's always doing things behind the scenes and the enemy wants to come and steal that from you. So I'm here to tell you, whatever you have going on, your papa, your father, oh, he working on it. All you have to do is keep praying. Pray. Yeah. John Riddick writes two songs. Amen. I don't fight alone. And God turn it around. So whatever you have going on. Amen. By the way, when you're listening to them songs. Make sure you say amen. After every line or every word. Because. That's a prayer. Any songs you listen to. Okay. Enemy don't want you to know that. But I guess that's why I'm a life coach for the kingdom of God. To help his sons and daughters. And it's a gift. Everything he corrupts. Me and Jesus. Want to disrupt. Amen. Glory to God. So I will be praying for you. Um. Terry, okay, I will be. You have my word on that one. Because his word mm, is my word. And I love him to death. And I love his sons and daughters. So, I pray this encourages you and strengthens you. And thank you for the words of encouragement. You know, I really needed that today. I did. The enemy been working on me over time. But I know when you're getting close, to a blessing. Ooh. Getting on here is a blessing. Glory to God. He comes to stop, right? He does. No one's going to listen to your videos. Lie. No one's going to. No one. No one. No one wants to hear you. Lie. God is going to fail you. Lie. And I know that now. And every once in a while I just tell them. You're a liar. Shut your mouth. And then the scriptures that I showed you, right? Yeah. The scriptures I showed you. Write them down. Go back to them. Because your papa in heaven sees you, Terry. And he's saying, I love you. And that's why I carried the cross for you, sister. Okay? You're, her, you're his daughter. He adores you. And whatever you have going on, I'm here to tell you. He sees it. But remember, the enemy comes. Because the only thing he can do is try to rock your boat. Yeah, to try to steal your faith, okay, Terry? Don't lose faith. And trust in your father. Keep focusing on him. Meditate on these scriptures that I shared with you. Because I felt led. Okay. And remember. What mere humans can't do. Is always possible with Papa God. And he's doing amazing things today. He's sending his spirit like never seen before. Okay Terry. So you stay strong. Matter of fact, I don't know what you have going on. Let me see. Okay. You know, Terry, if you're still there, the enemy will send people to hurt you. Okay? Because he has his people. But the key is, Terry, the man God wants you with. The woman that God wants me with, right? That's the thing. But the enemy will send you men. The enemy, that's that's what he's all about. He is to send, give you stuff. But he don't tell you the pain that you're going to endure. It's not easy in the world, okay? But I'm here to tell you, it's not easy to get over pain. It wasn't easy to have Amanda. 
Yeah. Leaving the house to see another man. But he showed me when he sent me his spirit. And his spirit lives in you. Keep seeking him in his word. Don't let the enemy, okay, steal that. And I can tell you that he adores you. He loves you. But anyway, let's pray for you, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you. Terry is your daughter, Lord. She's been hurt, and you know what that is. You comfort her. You let her know that you're there. You send your spirit, Jesus, because you promise you never leave us or forsake us, and you love her. You adore her. Help her love and to see you like never seen before. Send your spirit like you did me, Jesus. Give her the strength to carry on. Give her the strength and the hope and the faith and the trust to believe in you again and to stand on you that you are there and you see all the pain that she endured because the stuff you dealt with, Jesus, you dealt with betrayal when Judas betrayed you you felt pain when Lazarus died. And they looked at you and said, if you came earlier, Jesus, you would have saved him. And Jesus said, don't you believe? I told you if you believe, you will see the glory of God. Yes. And you brought him back to life when he was in the grave for four days. The smell. Even she said, well, he's been dead, Lord, for four days. I am the resurrection life. I'm the one that can give you hope. In the middle of your storm, I'm the one that can hold you up. As you did me, Lord. Hold Terry up. Give her the strength. Yes, Jesus. I pray this in your sweet son's name, Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Look, Terry, he has you. He does. Okay. And I'll be praying for you. But I can tell you. Was an accident you came across this video, right? Maybe you're a subscriber. I don't know. Maybe you are. But like I said, it's not my channel, it's his. And if you are, continue to like and subscribe and share. Let other people know about it because we need to get his word out. And anyway, this is Kane. This is my dog. Come here. Um, he's an awesome dog. Um, very good boy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm here to share with you, Terry, that he's got you, okay? And uh he adores you, but you know, like and share, subscribe. Thank you for the encouragement. You know, I needed that today. Like I said, he's right on time. He knows what we need, right? So you were my encouragement today, okay? Yeah, the enemy has been working on me. And uh, I appreciate you. And I will be praying for you. You have my word on that. And, uh, and uh, I'm glad you felt better. Keep spending time with him, okay? You need it daily. Don't let the enemy pull you from his word. Make some time. I don't know what if you have a Bible app, but I use the Holy Bible U version. And uh, he's amazing. But um, you stay strong, okay? You stay strong. He's got you. Okay? Anyway, it's been a pleasure and an honor to do this. And uh, I don't get the glory for who I am. I cannot do this without him. And I make sure he knows that. Okay. But look. Thank you for your encouragement. Because now you lift me up. Okay. Works both ways. That's what we're called to do. Okay. Oh, thank you very much. I, I need as many prayers too. Uh, well, what we need to realize, right? Whatever God's for, the enemy's opposite. There, of course, like I said, I, I, you know, I'm learning because 
to really learn how he works, right? And to grow closer to God. I have to learn too, right? Jesus did in the wilderness for 40 days to see how he works. And uh, he's relentless, but I know God's promises come true, okay? And whatever you have going on, I appreciate you. And, uh, well, I love you too and because uh, he loves you, okay? He showed me how to walk a whole lot slower with his spirit and love, love his daughters a whole lot deeper. And that's truly from my heart. You know, I love his daughters and sisters and my brothers and sisters in Christ. I love every one of them because we're in a battle. We are. It's a true battle. But I pray, right, that he keeps getting these messages to his sons and daughters that truly need him. And he will because the enemy's a liar. So anyway, thank you so much for your encouragement. I needed it today more than what I realized, but definitely needed it. He was working on me. Okay. All right. Well, look, you take care of yourself. Be strong. He's got you. And the reason why I know that, because I'm on the other side of the camera and you're there. So he sent you today. Amen. For you, right? For me to encourage you and for you, encourage me. Two-way street. That's how he works. So beautiful. I love appointments that he makes. When I was in a truck, he would make appointments for me. And uh, so many people, I needed that. Amen. But anyway, he pulled me out of the truck. Now I'm on the other side of the camera. So anyway, stay strong. He's got you. Okay. Dan. Okay. I will pray for both of you. Um, okay. I will. And uh, most importantly, you know, look up Matthew 6, starting in verse 9. It's the Lord's Prayer. Yeah. Read that over your life. And if you get a chance, I don't know what Bible you use, but the New King James. The other ones, ESV, NLT, NIV, doesn't have a last, the last part. That's very powerful. Okay. The kingdom of kingdom. Uh, actually, we'll go there real quick if you have a minute. Because I feel led to read it out loud. Glory to God. So, I have NIV. I'm going to change it to New King James. So, anyway. Okay. In this manner, therefore, pray, or Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give this this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Okay. Now, what this Bible, what the new, new King James Version has, okay, the very last part out there, deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power. And the glory forever. Amen. So when I do the Lord's Prayer, I make sure I do the New King James Version. So anyway, read that over your life every day. Okay. But anyway, read that over your life every day. Okay. I do. And it will help you. Okay. Because then you have protection too. Because that's what we need. We need that. Deliver us from the right temptation from the evil one but anyway thanks again for your encouragement you stay strong i will be praying for you and daniel okay all right look you take care all right talk to you later thanks for subscribing by the way keep on liking for his kingdom his glory amen take care of yourself stay strong terry he's got you